Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Writer-director Paul Schrader has written some of the greatest films of all time with Taxi Driver and Raging Bull. His new film, The Card Counter, gives Oscar Isaac a rich character to toil over. It's now in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Oscar Isaac's character, Bill Tell, learned to count cards in a prison. The opening voiceover felt like kind of Goodfellas in its delivery. As Bill says, I never thought I'd be in prison, but I've adjusted quite well. He goes on to describe the art of card counting for the game of blackjack. He has eccentric habits, as we see him go from hotel to hotel, traveling down the poker circuit. What's eccentric is how he wraps everything in white sheets. Now, one of the casinos is hosting a global security conference where Bill meets Kirk, played by Ty Sheridan, who seems to know Bill and points out the connection that they have to the keynote speaker, John Gordo. Now, as John Gordo, Willem Dafoe presents a menacing soul who once tortured people at Guantanamo Bay. Bill takes Kirk under his wing, hoping to turn his life around, but both are tormented by the past and the lingering effects of trauma at the hands of John Gordo. The film also stars Tiffany Haddish as Lolinda, who befriends Bill as she finds wealthy backers for the winning poker players. Now, if you're thinking about your own relationship to poker and engaging your interest in the card counter, I wouldn't let that be your barometer, as Paul Schrader merely uses the poker world to then house our characters. Schrader explains the entire game a few times over for any novice out there, but again, it's really not about the game. The game is what's keeping Bill in order. Even the character's last name, Tell, is a poker term for the facial expressions that players have throughout the game. It's a classic writing maneuver to describe the character in its name. Now, Oscar Isaac knows exactly what to do in Schrader's world, giving Bill very few tells throughout. His mind is always running, but rarely does he outwardly show his next move. Schrader's going about this in a very minimalistic way. Now, maybe that was always the intent, or maybe that was a filmmaking choice with COVID protocols. The action is kept primarily within the walls of the casino or in Bill's hotel room. The dialogue is sparse, never revealing too much. The audience is then reading into each of these performances and their tells to determine who they can trust and who might be playing whom. Now, the casting of Tiffany Haddish is smart and unexpected. She brings a vitality and effervescence to Bill's life. But don't expect Tadish to fall into her standard brand of comedy. There's an intensity boiling up under the surface for Ty Sheridan's Kirk. Now we expect that out of Oscar Isaac as Bill, and it's their evolving relationship throughout the film that may take audiences by surprise. The card counter may play out at a slower pace, but the game of poker isn't fast either. It's calculated down to its every move. Now, I mentioned earlier that this isn't really about poker. What stands out to me more is Paul Schrader's specific thoughts about patriotism and the effects of the really extremist views. On a more comedic angle, uh, Paul Schrader has written this character named Mr. USA. He's a young, obnoxious poker player uh, with an American flag tank top and has fans hollering as if they're at a football game. You'd expect to find Mr. USA at a MAGA rally. We then see this within the power struggle veterans find themselves in. The drive that Willem Dafoe's Gordo has with torture is alarming, and the resulting PTSD that it has over the personal downfall that's found in Bill and Kirk is something that's not often talked about. I'm giving the card counter three and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you'd like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel and get some of the movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of The Card Counter. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.